this video is all about pipe sizing using pipe flow expert to solve the problem so now this is a piping system actually is a water piping system where we want to size the pump that can take water from the reservoir that is below to the reservoir that is above now let's begin now this is this is pipe flow experts which which i'm using now so now what i'll do now is i'll, I'll click the add tank button and i'll place a tank here now placing a tank there is an atmospheric tank so i will not it will be zero psi gauge so now then the, the level of the water the water level is two the elevation the bottom elevation of the water is three so now the tank i will name it reservoir a so so the tank is reservoir a then I will now click this add pipe button. I will now select this point and run the line this way. Now they said I should create a default um, pipe value, so I will just say yes. I want to click create a default pipe. Now the material is okay. The material here is still still schedule 40 okay let me just click this material button to tell you to show you how to choose your material now this is a this is the material i was supposed to use but for me to now be able to show you what how to do that you scroll down to the material you want to make use of this is it is highlighted so i haven't been highlighted so now you can now click here select just click select so now the material is being selected now the size of pipe we were supposed to be used what we are using is um three inch pipe so now we'll just click on this three inch pipe i won't click on the three inch pipe i will just click on this button transfer selected size i'll just click so it will not transfer this value up there now i will now say save to pipe now it has we have changed the, the internal diameter the roughness which is the material and the schedule 40 now the schedule the schedule tells you the wall thickness and all that then now the length of the pipe that should change is this is the length of the pipe should be 30 now there is a fitting there. The fitting is pipe entering projecting, which is this. I just double clicked and it enters. So now I'll just, and it should be at the end of the pipe. So I will just say save. Now, the next thing I'm going to add here, I needed to add, I need to add. A pipe um a pump so now the pump i will need to have this this will it will not be set speed so now for set speed that means we know that we have choose we have chosen we have made choice on the kind of pump we are going to use there now but we have not made any choice so now what we are going to do is to we come here we needed to know now we know we we, we 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 come here we select the flow rate we know the flow rate the flow at which the, the, the that is the flow for the system the flow rate for the system having known the flow for the system what we're going the flow we're going to use for the system is 185 we want to use 185 as a flow rate so now we will come here change one, one, um, 185 us gallon per minute so we select the us gallon per minute so we come here put Type in 185. 
Now, we set the flow rate. Having set the flow rate, what we're looking for now is the head, the pump head. So if we get the pump head, we cannot make, we cannot be able to select the, the pump we are supposed to use, the pump that can be able to um, completely execute this kind of job. Now, the pump that can execute this kind of job can only be selected using, if we have able to calculate our flow rate and our pump head. So if we get the pump head, we can now look at the pump uh, performance uh, curve. So now, if we look at the pump performance curve, from there, we can be able to make a selection of the kind of uh, pump that is supposed to do this, this job. Now, well, well, first, what we are supposed to do is to do use a set flow rate, that is fixed flow rate um, pump. There is a pumping system that has a fixed flow like um like this uh, displacement pump it has a fixed flow now from there we can now be able to with this we can now be able to calculate the head so that's what we're going to do first then before we now use the head the pump head and the flow rate we got to be able to now look for the a particular pump that can be able to do this job so now we'll just click this button save pump to pipe we'll just click it now we are done i will now say okay i'll say okay so this is it now i'll now draw the next pipe up here now this next pipe the length is supposed to be um 50 the diameter is the same, the roughness is the same because it's the same pipe. Then the elevation. This the elevation here is supposed to change. Yes, we are supposed to use 16. So that means up here is 16, but here is still 3 feet because here is 3 feet. So now we are done with what we're supposed to do here but for now we needed to change there there shouldn't be any um pump here on this line because we have created a default that has pump and and uh, pipe entering projection so now we'll just click this pipe configuration that is pipe configuration option now for pipe data so now this the length of this pipe is supposed to be 15 then we don't need a pump here we actually don't need a pump here i will just click this delete pump say yes now there is no pump here now i will not click on this i don't need this i will just delete it now, what I need there is just an able, a standard bend able. Selected it, then there is nothing again we need here. I will just say save. Now, that is it. Let me see. That is it. So now, so I will now say, okay. Need to remove it, it's not there. Yes, I want to delete it. Now, here, let me see. Sorry. Mm. Let me see the fittings here. Okay, still there. I need to delete this. Click save. Then I need to make this default. Say yes. Now I wanna draw a line from here to here, a horizontal line. 
I will click this to edit this pipe. So now here and I don't actually need this. I don't need a bend. What we need there is a gate valve. We need a gate valve there. So this is a gate valve. Then we also need pipe exit to container. Now pipe exit to container should be at the end while the gate valve should be at the starting point. I'll just say click OK. Then here well, let's see. Huh? What am I doing? Let's see. I will delete this. Add a gate valve. Add pipe exit to container. This should be at the end. Save. Then this. This joint should be a tank of elevation. The elevation of the tank is two feet. No. It's two feet. Then it's done. We are done. Now it's two feet. Then the length of this pipe suppose is two is 20. The length of the pipe is supposed to be 20. So now, so we are done with all we needed to do here. We're done. So we're done with design, we're drafting. We're drafting. So now what we're going to do now is to run a calculation. Let's calculate to see. Okay, the pump must be placed at the start of the point. So, view results. Now, let's look at the... Okay, this is the pump head. The pump head is 23.03. So, let me close. Let me actually close. We can also look at it here. So look at the pump head is 23.034 feet head. So that is it. Now, I haven't gotten that. I will not have to change this pump. I will change it to Set speed. So the set speed should be one four seven five. Now I needed to open the pump database. So in the pump database, I need to select a pump that could do the job. Now let's try this pump. Let's see. Ah, uh, the flow the. The whole of the pump here, this one, this one now, the minimum, the minimum head here is higher than, it's far, far higher than what we got, 23. Like when you look at this table now, the pump table, you see that the minimum head is 76 here, 76.989. So this one cannot do the job, cannot do the job. So now. Is a bigger pump. This cannot do the job. So now we are going to look for another pump that, that will do this job. Now let's go through again and look at another pump. Let's check this one. 
uh, the minimum this one is 23.14 23.14 is still higher than 23.034 so it's still higher so this one this pump cannot also be able to execute the job because when you look at it now the list here the list unless this um okay unless this the one of impeller six six point zero zero of impeller six point zero inch impeller diameter zero six point zero this one can do the job of impeller six point zero can do the job but this higher in this impeller the one of seven point two five two fifty inch cannot do it so the lo the lesser impeller is the one that can do the job and do it well but um Well, let me still look for another one. Let me still look for another um, pump that will be that is good. That should be okay. That one, that impeller, impeller six point zero can. It's only on zero inch diameter. Impeller diameter of six point zero can do it. Let's check for a better, a more better one. Okay, this one we have when you look at the now when you look at the, this um, pump uh, pump data here, you see that this one here, the list here is nineteen point zero two twenty. So this this pump can do the job. And when you look at this one, the, the, the where you see where the where this whole thing lies, see now it lies within this where you have the best efficiency point. So it lies between the, the the region where you have the best efficiency point, which is at this point. So now you have this is 23 and this is 22. So it lies in between here. So this one this pump is the best pump that can do the job so now let me change the icon of this pump and i want it to be this okay now we have selected this this is the best pump that can that can do the job so now i needed to now click this save pump to pipe so i'll click this so we have save pump to this so this is this is the pump now here we are using so now we're going to run this now we're going to run it we'll see what we have now okay see let me exit recalculate let's come here now i needed to put the range this is supposed to be from 70 to 1 30 between 170 and 130 that is the region where <clears throat> where the, the, the where the operating point had to fall in and you know that the this pump selected is a perfect choice is a good choice it should fall between 70 percent of the best operating efficiency which is 74.32 or you should fall below 70% of that best, effic best efficiency point or 130 above the, that best efficiency point. So now, when you check, the, what we have now is falls within that best efficiency region. So let's, let me click this button, which is draw graph. See, it is this region here. this region here so now i will now click save 
will now calculate. Now let's see, let's view the results here. You see, so it falls within that, that region because the efficiency for this particular pump for this for this particular job now is 72.6 percent. Now the power, the horsepower is 1.56586. Now we see the 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 head is 23.78. So so it's good. So this is a perfect choice. Now. The perfect one, so it's okay. It's good. So now that is it. So we have selected a, be a better pump that executes this job. So now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you love this video. And now hit the notification bell. Also, if you also like the video, click the like button. Thank you for watching.